Lads and ladies, boxes have been nerfed on so rare. The classic game is in the mud. Now, of course, you don't need me to tell you any of this. You can see it for yourself from just playing the game, you know, let alone on the discourse that you'll find in the so rare Twitter and YouTube sphere, we'll call it, you know, circle thing, cunt. Basically, sentiment is very low right now around the classic cards. It's all doom and gloom, and honestly, I can see why it's harder than ever to win in the classic competitions. You can have a 420-point team win you a one-star box, for fuck's sake. And, you know, granted, I'm a firm believer that you're trying to beat the other users and managers playing the game, not the game itself, but that doesn't make it any less demotivating. And classic is technically never going to be any easier than what it is right now. It's just that simple when you consider all of the current in-season cards will become next season's classic cards on top of the value of these classic cards decreasing as most managers on the platform already have enough classic cards at the top end of the so five scoring spectrum and quite frankly not enough teams to put these classic season cards in. Ergo less managers are buying classic season cards, the new user demand for classic season cards just isn't there and all of this is on top of knowing that this season's in-season cards will also be added to the pool of next season's classic season cards. It's a vicious cycle. What's the answer to all of this? I don't fucking know, but that's why I've made the decision to buy my last ever classic card on the platform. I needed a goalkeeper for the midweek European games. I only like buying elite players in classic right now for, you know, the, the reasons previously stated. So I opted for a Jan Oblak of Atletico Madrid. He's had a shaky season so far, I guess, but all in all, he is one of the best goalkeepers in the world and hopefully on the platform. And I bought him for, I don't fucking know, like 33 quid or something. Uh, the midweek team I then put him in did fucking shit. Uh, was it worth it? Probably fucking not, but at least now I know I've got Jan Oblak until he retires or fucks off to the uncovered Saudi Arabia. But this is then the problem in itself. Why would I, as a manager, need to go out and buy any more classic season cards from my account with the way the platform has shifted all of its attention to in-season cards? And this is coming from someone who doesn't have a massively stacked account by any stretch. You know, I have enough good to elite cards, at the limited level at least, to fill three teams in the EPL, Bundesliga and La Liga competitions, as well as the champion, challenger and contender brackets. And this is before my current in-season cards join them in Classic as of next season. Like, look at my La Liga in-season setup for goalkeepers specifically. I have Alex Romero from my Real Sociedad stack and Severo from Alaves. And then next season, that's going to be two more goalkeeping options joining Classic for both La Liga and the champion bracket. And you'd have to ask yourself, is Severo elite? Uh, no. Will I want to use him often in La Liga or Champion? Uh, probably fucking not. And does he have a good resale value? I'd have to say absolutely fuck no. Who's gonna want a classic season Severa for fuck's sake? He's simply just not gonna be good enough to compete in the classic bracket at the La Liga and Champion level, competing with all the elite cards with higher XP. It's just that fucking plain and simple. Put the pen to paper, that's what it fucking says. Uh, so even future in-season purchases, I'm just gonna have to try and go top end as possible, even if it is a bit more expensive at the time i mean it, it's still like just common sense right buy the best so five players to get the best so five scores and get the most so five fucking money but i instead opted for a rel socky dad stack so that that was on me this year dan Sober has recently tweeted that they're looking at ways to bring more utility and value to classic season cards but right now that's just talking points and platitudes until we see anything meaningful come into action. What's the main point I'm trying to get across here? Uh, to sum it all up, I don't fucking have a clue, but even I'll admit I'm enjoying the game less than I would have hoped for at this point in time. Like, let's take last weekend, for example. We can see here I had 22 teams out and I won five fucking boxes, and that's completely my fault for, you know, buying all these shit cunts like Backman can go fuck himself. Like, who the fuck are all these fucks? A zero and a 27 there. Uh, this EPL in-season team was just fucking horrific. Like, I, I don't really know what the fuck else is going on with all this shit. I guess La Liga was okay. Like, I got 368 points and won a two-star box. Probably with fucking free essence in by the time I open it. Like, Gnabry didn't start. And even if I had started him, I was 120 points away from winning the minimum reward. Like, I need 440 points. And it should be tough in Division 1, especially if, if loads of players are doing well. But, like, like fuck me. Look at these goalies here. They're fucking shit. What the fuck did I do here? Uh, I is just a zero. That's a really sad DNP right there. And then just some okay scores that won me nothing, I guess. Uh, it's just all a bunch of fucking shit, right? Like, what the fuck? Fuck, did I win anything in contender at least? Oh, I won some boxes, some one-star boxes. Like, fucking shit. Like, what is the point in all this classic shit? Especially if you're as shit as me, and you just win a bunch of shit boxes. Uh, I, I don't love it right now. So, let's hope they can turn it around. And until then, hopefully myself and Jan Oblak can, can do some soccering. Yeah.
Oh shit, outro. I'll catch you next time because I fucking love you.